the Galliano show is a girl from Pigal that has been dancing the whole night. Brassite is one of my most favorite photographers. And um, since I was 18, I wanted to buy the picture of Madame Le Bijou, La Mom. He was telling me the woman that, that I was, she used to just, in the 1930s, she used to just stay at the bar and never leave and drink wine. I know that woman. You know that woman. It's gonna, it's gonna be me, but. <laughs> We have insane sections like Kiki de Montparnasse, Madame Bijou, Streetwalker, Otto Dix, and Nighttime in Pigalle. I feel like it's been a while since we had a good old, life-affirming spectacle in fashion. It's entirely appropriate that it's John Galliano who's going to deliver it for us tonight, simply because he is the Cecil B. DeMille of fashion. What do you expect from a John Galliano show? Uh, it's a cliche, but you expect the unexpected. I mean, will there be models or will there be little people and real people and 85-year-old men walking the runway with four-year-old girls? You never know. So, Michael, I walk into this show. I feel it's a bit like the John of old. I think I think it is very much like it's a return to sort of John John's old form, and it is that sort of the whole sort of theatrical experience. And um, so we're here, to, you know, providing a setting to sort of to set off the clothes and, and actually show that. <laughs> You're coming out of four extraordinary collections. Can you put your finger on this incredible creative role you're on? Women. I think women. Um, the more and more collections, the more and more I'm inspired, and the more and more I need to express myself. So, and the more and more organized we're getting. And um, it's a great team, teamwork, both at Dior and both at Galliano. It is so important that he does this because after three weeks, all the clothes start to look the same. Sorry, you know, a shirt is a shirt. There are only so many different ways you can slice it. And the fact that he's actually really trying to wake people up, I think, makes a difference. I've tried different different alleys, different ways of going with Galliano, and I've listened to the markets and, and the buyers and everything. And what they want is the real Galliano, which is what I hope I, that was real Galliano. I think we're seeing... Um, you know, a great talent in the full bloom of that talent. Nothing is lazy. I mean, every single piece is so considered and thoughtful and worked on and special, you know. John's so good at really um, researching these things, so it's really authentic. But it's a dream as well. It's your dream. It's like a fever dream. Yeah, we're here to challenge you to dream. That's part of my duty as well. I think he's someone from who there's a lot to learn. For sure, he's going to be inspiring to me and he's going to be inspiring for what we're going to bring to the market in the, in the further future. He's incredibly inspired and inspiring. And when you go back to the showroom after a show like this to see what women are actually going to put on their bodies, you're never disappointed. Well, I think watching that, I, I think that was one show in one season. And there was so much in that. And in a way, it breaks my heart that next season there's another show and another <laughs> season. That was just so rich there. I just don't want it to go, That's you know. my job. <laughs> you never care about things like that? I don't worry about tomorrow. I'm so living for today. I'm so living for today. It was absolutely marvelous. Touch the cord. Girl of your dreams. Girl of my dreams. <laughs> I nearly tripped a couple of girls up because I was quite keen on the dresses. But anyway, that's another story. I held myself back. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of those French medals. I haven't had one yet. <laughs> Your lips to their ears. 